we've been putting it off for almost two years but we want to make a room for our son so that he can have a nice room to play and sleep in he's getting <laughs> he's growing so fast so we need to clean out one of my uh, rooms where i have all my paintings stored right now but we want to look at the storage unit to see if we can put it away i did have a storage unit in seattle later on i discovered there was mold growing on my paintings and i had to throw half my artwork away which is super sad but you know so i'm going to be super careful now you know looking at these storage units hopefully it's inside and there's ac inside and it's sealed well and it's and it's <sighs> Baby was not happy to be in his car seat, but we're gonna go check out the storage now. Let's see if he'll survive. All right, let's go. Adios, amigos. When he falls asleep, he becomes heavier, but he weighs the same. How does that make sense? Forgot to record at the bakery, but we got some delicious pastries. Those are Felix's favorite. We're gonna empty the car out because we got our storage unit. But first, I need to bring the bounty chair for the baby. This is the room that we're working on cleaning out. Felix is gonna sort through all these paintings. All of these are paintings and we're trying to make this into our son's room. It's time to get to work, but first I'm gonna change into shorts because it's hot out here. Project has begun. Success. Try to not be too loud because the baby is sleeping. How's it going? It's good. It's actually more work than I thought. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you have to like tie the wet package it, you know, mm -hmm. cover. So are you starting here in your studio? Yeah, and... I think, well, half and half, I'm like bouncing from one place to another, but yeah, I'm gonna start here, I think. I'm not sure this is amazing. I'm still gonna either repaint it or... And these ones are to keep or what? Some of them I'm gonna keep, but I'm thinking maybe we can do an auction for all these little ones. Mm -hmm. Those are the YouTube That's a ones. good idea. Set YouTube. aside any of the ones you wanna try and sell. Yeah, maybe we, maybe if Auction, whoever really wants to. Yeah, do that. Found new canvases here. What size are they? By Fredericks. They're really nice. What size? Uh, 30 by 40s. Sweet. There you so go. That's gonna be nice. See what happens when you organize? <laughs> you find cool things. So, this is what I find. You know how we find cool things? I found this. Mi amor, chica. It's the feet for me. First box finished. We're labeling them all so that he'll know which ones are in there. Yeah, and then the size already has here, so I don't need to. Making progress, making progress. Yes. And we decided we're gonna sell, do a sale for some of the pieces as well. What happened here? Just styrofoam. Sticky styrofoam. Lots of my textured paintings, you know, it's hard to get them out. So, I'm gonna set it out to the side. I'm going to throw this away for Felix. That's my contribution. It's literally perfect weather in Puerto Rico right now, which is why I'm so thankful to live here. Look at this beautiful weather. 
my contribution. Someone's spraying me with water. <laughs> wake the baby up, I'm going to be so annoyed at you. Okay, so I get out of the shower, and my baby had woken up, and I hear, Mi amor, chick, from upstairs. My husband's yelling. At first I thought something happened to the baby, but then I come in here. Wrong. This, his crib is usually against this window, and these blinds had rotted out right here and broken off. Thankfully it didn't get in his crib, but this put a damper on our plans because now my lord has to fix this. This is the joy of home ownership. And now my baby won't stop crying if I put him down. So here I am with my baby. <laughs> yeah. This is the solution for now. Gonna have to order some blinds. So I don't think we have time to finish today because of this issue here, but uh, that's right. You know, things happen in life and you just gotta adjust. But I'm just gonna organize and set aside the things that I'm gonna store and the things I'm gonna do as an auction and the things I'm gonna repaint and kind of like clean up, start vacuuming, kind of organize a little bit today. And then tomorrow I'll Here's take stuff. Start. And tomorrow I'll work on stuff and we'll we'll continue tomorrow. Okay, cool. And then let's get burritos for dinner. Yeah, you know, today? Yeah. Let's get burritos. Okay. <laughs> So this is his progress for today. So got a lot done. These are pretty much I'm gonna work on these. These are new canvases. I'm gonna work on this one we painted or something. But new canvases, I'm gonna move them somewhere else. These are already packaged, so this should be pretty easy. I just load it up and take it to the storage. Nice. So I just need to finish packaging these, covering them, some of the paintings here, and then um, yeah, and then these you know, and then organize upstairs. Yay, it's but, coming along. Yeah. Good work. Made a, made a dent. It's day three. Ignore <laughs> my uh, morning hair. One day, maybe this will be a style, but not today. <laughs> it's day three of cleaning out the art room. Yes, and? Yesterday, I didn't record because someone was having a rough day and I didn't have time. He was not napping all day, so I was basically with him all day. But Felix made a big dent yesterday. Yep, I've got like a couple more hours left, right? So let's check. I would say like three more hours and the studio is gonna be clean from paintings. I'll show you guys an update. What did you say? I was gonna continue watching the Rolex restoration, but my wife said I need to get to work. <laughs> I'm getting used to that TV now. <laughs> YouTube videos. Someone's happy there. At least for now. There was an injury yesterday. I smacked my toe against a box of paintings in a corner. <laughs> and it hurts now, so. That was not smart. I'm gonna wear running shoes. So this is the progress. He's almost done. You have what, one more load? Yes, one more load. That's the biggest size. 48 by 60 canvases, huge. This barely fits our car. And thank God it fits it. Literally, it's a very tight fit. And then uh, the rest is like all these ones. All these and then upstairs I've got some Did stuff. you already set aside the ones for the sale upstairs? Kind of. I did. Come, I'll show you. There's some in the boxes, but... So, there's like... This one is gonna be on for sale. These are YouTube lessons. So you're doing like mainly YouTube lesson sale? Yeah, YouTube and just kind of like... Some of these, maybe this one, you know, like these. Some of these ones, this one, they all varnished and ready to go. We'll do a sale on. Okay. 
yeah, just try to get a lot of these for sale and see which ones people want. Okay. And then uh, if you don't want them, they'll be hidden away. In the trash? <laughs> hidden away in the trash. So this is the pile that I set aside to do a sale on. These are most of the YouTube videos that you saw me do of time-lapse and lessons. For example, this was a lesson in my mentorship program. And then some of these you'll find on YouTube, time-lapse videos of the ones I've done, like this one. So these will be for sale. I'll let you guys know when that will happen. And these are new canvases and then also um, some of the paintings that are on the fine art website that are not gonna be on sale. And then some of these are gonna go to Seattle. I have a show coming up. So I'll display those there. I just varnished this one today and it's drying out. And so this one will go to Seattle as well. And I like to use gloss varnish. I always share this with people, but I wanna share it again, just in case you guys don't know, but this is my favorite varnish out there it's gloss and it works really good for acrylic and oil paintings as well so check it out if you guys want to see your paintings now this is the one i found when i was going over the paintings i found that i did not finish it and i did this one in like 2018 or 19 and i was working on a series of these this one is another one that's similar in that style right so I'm inspired to finish this. This 30 by 40 was just sold. This was one of the abstract paintings I did last year. It was a lot of fun to do. So I'm gonna paint the edges, one color all around. I'm gonna sign it, finalize it and varnish it like I did this one and it'll be ready to go. All right, guys, I'm all done. Let's go check out the new storage unit. Okay, here we are. All my paintings that were in that room have been stored to a new storage unit. This is a five by 15 feet and it is nice. And as you can see, I also added a plastic layer all around just to be safe. I mean, it's, it's gonna be totally safe because this is an inside storage unit with great ventilation. So I'm not worried about any mold or anything. All right, guys, again, thank you so much for your continued support. I couldn't do this without you. It means a lot to me and my family, so thank you. I am excited to continue creating new work and new tutorials. Hopefully you guys are gonna be happy with. I am growing every year because everything's about practice and the more you do things, the more you get better at. So I'm excited to see what this new year will bring. I have some cool ideas for this channel, so stick around and hopefully you guys are able to learn something from my channel. I encourage you guys to continue using your gifts that God has given you for the glory of his name because everything good comes from him and you can be an inspiration to so many people and that w that's what really matters you know like you could either live for yourself or you can bless somebody out there with your gifts I'm staying positive and I encourage you guys to do the same see you guys next week take care and God bless goodbye 2023